Hi, my name is Neil Curran, and I'm an intern here at Adams Russell. I was just sharing a moment to myself for a second, but since you're here, I might as well tell you that I was involved in a production this semester for my class, and I thought, what better place to come than Adams Russell to do a behind-the-scenes look at the production and the making of the Charles Lockwood Hour show called Your Mother's on the Roof. Behind me, you see the satellite dishes that are used to receive HBO, Cinemax, all the cable channels you get at home. But that's enough of my yak, and that's, that's enough of that. Let's, let's go inside and see how this thing is put together. We're now inside the Adams Russell Studios. Let's go down here. The studio is just to my left. We'll get a shot of that later. To my right are the four employees that work here at Adams Russell. Their names, Eric Bickernix, Tracy Kitty, Bob Goodale, and Norm Johnson. We'll meet the four of these people. See, they don't like it when I come in here. We'll meet the four of these people and show examples of their work, what goes into the Charles production. Let's get started. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's the last edit you heard music, now you don't hear music. It's a stop. That's because Neil edited. Alrighty, uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know. Hey, look at Norm vacuuming over there. Think about what it. Do you, what do you do here at Adams Russell? Um, I vacuum. You vacuum? I take a lot of pride in that. Not to be said for somebody who can really vacuum well. Right. You like your work? I just love my work here at Adams Russell. I wait, count the hours until I get to work here. Isn't that special? It's so special. And the people, that's what makes it special here at Adams Russell. I wouldn't come back if I didn't like them. Except for... Okay, this is the dog we're trying to find a home for. I have two pitches. One will go in his clipboard. When he starts to tell about the dog, you'll hold it up. Norman, your camera will cut to, to a picture of the dog oh, hanging on the wall. Yeah, okay? Uh, so you can quickly, on. Norman, can you have I, a nice close-up. Well, I can He just try to hold it to the camera yeah. with yeah. a shot. That's easier because it'll be in the light. Yeah, there's no okay. light. Okay. Okie doke. All right, so I'll only use one then. Yeah. Okay. That's it? That's there's it. There's no bloody light on the wall. <laughs> That's job. Some of the work I'm not so proud of. For instance... Charles Lockwood Air Show tonight. That Geraldo piece that you're going to see is terrible. Not my responsibility. We'll have a scorecard. We'll have a score sheet. And we'll say, which do you think it's going to be? What do you have to for during the springtime? Obviously, it's only three things. Some of the typical responses, Charles would walk up and say, um, excuse me, excuse me, what do you think yuppies look for in the springtime? It's weather. It's, it's a so, uh, well, nice we have, weather, pretty to... girls in, in, uh, in, in fancy cars. And the guy would walk up and say, well, one guy, you said, uh, flowers and roses. <laughs> <laughs> we'll poll the studio audience. Okay. Oh. And see what they think would be. It's we're between one of three categories. Dull. Very dull. Don't make your viewers watch that piece, you know. Make reference to it, but don't make them sit through it. I, mean, that's... <laughs> I wouldn't wish that upon anyone, really. What about you? Why do you keep coming back to Adams Russell? They get to play with all the tricks and toys and see <laughs> And meet our special guest stars, huh? Yeah, right. Our super famous stars. 
let's go over the queuing system so everyone knows what we're going to be doing. Yes, okay. When it says to go to commercial, Chris, you got to listen to what's this. What's it going to say? Queuing system, it says go do the commercial. You get ready to go. You say we'll be right back after this message. That's your cue to hold up the sign and, and get yes. them to scream in applause. Yeah. And you say we'll be right back after. Don't freeze yes. the point because we can't get off quick enough. Wait a minute. What is this? If I can ask. Project. Does it? Yeah. You know, Sean Penn kills people for doing that. I know. <laughs> you do know that, don't you? Huh? Yeah, that's right. How do you know I'm a good guy? <laughs> I want to go far on television. I already consider myself to be the king of cable. I'm on Norwood, Westwood, Lunenburg, and all those other towns on Adams Russell. All right. Five minutes. Oh, my God. We're going to shut This is officially known as the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> stage. Guys, one once more. Oh, this is the intro. <laughs> All right. A little bit louder, a little more obnoxious. Oh, wow. Everybody smile. Wait a minute. Tracy, it's 8 o'clock. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them, guess what? Yeah. Tell Chris no. No, Chris. No, because he has to hold on to the shotgun and point it. He's vital that he's, Chris, you have to point to everyone. And he's vital that he does that. More important than this, other than he, other than holding the wild applause, he has to do that. Boy, this is going to be fun, kids. Okay, we're all set. He can go to it. He can go to it. Chris, make sure Chris holds the sign. Chris has got to give us a cheer here. Also with that. Bring up the speakers in the studio. Yeah, make sure you can make sure I can still hear us and cheer. Let me get on. And we get harassed and a whole bunch more. So let's watch this. Cheer, cheer. Okay, roll it. Go ahead. And bang, perfect. Uh, and if you see the words pre-recorded on the screen, then it's, it's, it's not live. Maybe at a later date, though, you'll be able to call in, too. Okay, so, we have our Mr. Gas contestant, Janice. It's your birthday today. Is this how you celebrate your birthday? You coming here? What a nice person. How great. Here. And she gets to be on TV for her birthday. What was the name of Archie Parker's family? Mike Civic. Oh, she gets it. She got the whole name. Nice weather, Laura of Yarmouth. So Laura of Yarmouth, you get the uh, the, the, the the carnival thing. Like you know, you have to go to the center back. Feisty little one back there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, time out. Yeah, you're looking as good as ever, and um. It's cool, man. It's getting way too much. It's getting 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 too much. It's Hey, you should have told me that was two minutes the end of the show. I didn't know well, that. He, he kept saying two minutes, two minutes, so I figured you know, I thought so, it was the way right, he thought it too, but yeah. he, I don't know. Hey, Billy, see you later. And, I, uh, and I'm very well loved by everyone. Eric Mickerson, our, our director, loves me a lot. Well, two and a half minutes, can you all what? go over to the end what? of the show? Well, say That's it. Awesome. <laughs> and, uh, I, uh, I also, not, and I'm also on a, a show called Around Town, Michigas, a segment of Around Town, which is running all over. Um, I'd like to be on a few other cable TV stations. If anyone watching this someday owns a cable TV station, uh, please give me a call at 329-9019. I'd love to be on cable uh, TV. And uh, sometime I hope to, um, to eventually, because I figure that radio is going to be, eventually it's going to be radio with pictures, like it already is. Um, or it's going to be TV and stereo, which it already is. So I want to be part of it all. I want to be, I want to sort of be uh, going to the 90s, you know. Take Eric.
can we have a meeting of you and me and the, and the camera crew after, the, after this? Because I want to get, I want to talk about some of these signals. <laughs>